We are in VirtualBox version 5. I'm going to show you how to create a snapshot and to restore from that snapshot as well. So it doesn't matter whether you're in a workstation or a server or whether the virtual machine is running or not. You can go ahead and highlight the virtual machine you would like to create a snapshot. And when you see it, the one you want, just go ahead and go over to Snapshots on the right-hand side. And you can right-click and choose Take a Snapshot. Now, by default, it's going to be called Snapshot 1, but it might be a good idea to give it a name or a date, so that way you know when it was that you saved this, so you, you can see what features uh, you may have done. So if you're in school, for instance, we could say uh, Snapshot Module 1. So if we need to go back in time, we know this one is Module 1. Very good. There is our snapshot. So now we can go ahead and double-click on our virtual machine and start up the virtual machine itself. We've got it encrypted, so let's go ahead and put in the encryption password. And if you'd like to see how to encrypt your virtual machine, there are other videos I have in the playlist. So our virtual machine is up. Let's go ahead and log in. And once we're in, let's go ahead and choose to create a new file. Let's call it a new text document. Just call it test. All right. Now we're going to shut down our virtual machine. And we're going to restore from the previous snapshot or prior to the snapshot. So let's go ahead and choose restore snapshot and click restore and now we'll go ahead and if you want you can give it a name again click OK let's double click and we'll type our password for our encryption of course you may or may not have encryption on yours but it's uh, unrelated to this video and after it starts up, that file should no longer be there because I made that change after I made the snapshot. And I just restored to an image prior to that snapshot. And as you can see, the file's not there. So that's how we uh, take a snapshot and restore a snapshot just in case you have some sort of corruption or some other reason why your virtual machine doesn't run the way you want it. So it's a great idea to have a snapshot before you make any major changes to your virtual machine.